Okay, I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to play some Brogue, and I'm going to play it online. Well, kind of, sort of, yeah. See this, this leaderboard here? I wanted to show this off. So this is Brogue Community Edition. If you haven't seen Brogue, you'll see it very shortly. It's it's ASCII, but it's very it's very approachable and very very visual, and very pretty ASCII, honestly. So this list, I'm not on it currently. It's the current games going. It's a little leaderboard. This is high score. So let's click Brogue. CE stands for Community Edition. You can play regular Brogue. You can play these are all variants of Brogue, different forks, you could say. So we'll click play. I played a bit of it. So you see what I'm talking about? You are ASCII, you are at there, and if you've ever played other other roguelikes, or other traditional rogues, like other ASCII roguelikes, let's see if I can actually zoom in a bit, I think, you, yeah you can, so I'm holding there. So, uh, see how I'm there, and I see grass like, I'm going to have to zoom in a little bit, there we go, you see that. So, normally, Let's compare this to Angban. I'll talk, go talk say play. This is the first level. The first level is easy. As it, look at that. That's so cool because this is high grass, dense foliage, and foil, foliage. <laughs> Why? Wow, butchering that. Anyway, high grass is so it's blocking my line of sight, so I can't see it. And so I move around. Note there's no sound. That's K. K is a cobalt. So it's worth checking. Uh, let's go zoom out a little more. Let's. Oof. Yeah. Okay. So we'll take it to, let's I don't size this here. So I do kind of need to see this stuff up here to my health. Uh, what I can do, and I can hide that there. You can also download the game and just play on your on your PC, but th this is how you play it on, on mobile. You just play it from the, from the browser, which is really interesting. Not all games allow that. There's an Angband variant that does, but it was having issues, so I wasn't going to show that one off. I think I'll show this one off. Maybe that one will update a bit more. Uh, let's, hmm... I'm going to have to zoom out a little more. Sorry about this. It's just you want to see as much of the screen as possible. Right, so I'm here. That's a cobalt K. I have strength 12. I click I for inventory. Right? And then I click I for inventory. Right? Well, you, you, yeah. Normally you do. It's, let's just click it here. The thing about Brogue is it's very mouse driven. Most roguelikes, most traditional roguelikes are not anywhere near mouse driven. A lot of them only use the mouse, like the gang band. That is the perfect one to compare this to. Angband came out in, like, first, like, it's still updated, but it came out in, like, 1990, literally. Jesus. And it's, it's, it was, so, the moves I'm moving. It's only a little faster, but I am online. So the Cobalt's running. I can crush a Cobalt easily. I can just bump damage him. So I'm saying this because I'm moving with the mouse. Normally you move, well, I'd move four, 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 right? He's right next to me. Oh, he's gonna die. Uh, the floor is splattered with blood. He's at half health. He's in a hunting state. He did hit me, didn't he? Hmm, interesting. Let's kill him. Remember... Okay, see how it remembers? It remembers seeing grass like fungus here. That's cool. Let's click him again. And Cobalt is still alive, huh? Still there, huh, buddy? And he is dead. Cobalt is dead. No, you didn't drop a corpse. <laughs> this isn't... Uh, <laughs> Adam. Right, Nothing. not everything's gonna drop a corpse. So. Lots of things don't in that game anyway. I'm trying to get the, to the optimum level where I want to see as many things as possible. Well, the thing about Brogue, it wants to play with a mouse. It want, it's, it's very mouse driven. Oh, the rock wall is firm and unyielding. What is that? Always look, right? Normally in Angband, I was comparing it to this because if you want to look in Angband, you click the, what is it, the semicolon? Not the L command. To look at each area. Here it's just a bounce driven, so you can just look. That's a chasm. Those are cool because you can just jump down and skip the downstairs, but you take damage on the fall, right? I'm doing okay. Nutrition, you have to eat in this. So it'll give you a confirmation window if I click it. Oh, okay, that's the edge. That's the brink of a chasm. And then that is the chasm itself. Chilly winds blow upward from the Stygian depths. It's, it's a warning. Dive in the depths? No, no, we're not going to do that. Mm -mm -mm. I could, potentially. And this game is a traditional roguelike, is completely procedurally generated. Enemies you encounter, the, the levels. You're on depth one. I just, I'm dark. In the dark. Uh, I can rest, which consumes my satiation meter there, my nutrition. What do I have in my inventory? I already know what I have. I'm just going to show you. I have a dagger. I have leather armor, I have some food, and I have 15 darts. Those darts mulch. And that, uh, you see that plus sign there? That is a door. 
the this these air quotes here <laughs> quotation marks these are grass uh, these the number signs here are stone walls but you see if you were to compare this to say net hack it would be very it, it, everything would be less detailed I'd say right and that's a cobalt let's read about that mm. a cobalt is a lizard like humanoid the upper dungeon and 50 percent this is this is interesting. I haven't actually seen this in another roguelike. It, see how much how much info it gives you, right? And the game's flat out telling me, I guess due to my my character's obscene levels of dungeon knowledge or dungeon delve or whatever, that this cobalt has a fifty percent chance to hit me. I still have this knowledge, I'm not particularly tough if a cobalt has fifty percent chance to hit me anyway. Or leather, I guess. And he typically hits for eight percent of my current health, and at worst could defeat you in eight hits. So it gives you a lot of information, bro, it gives you a lot of information. That is the direct opposite of, say, an older style of playing, say, Angband or, or NetHack, even more so. I have a 100% chance to hit, meaning he's not gonna, there's no chance of missing. I hit for almost half its health, and at best could defeat him in two hits. Okay, so that information tells me the Kobold is not a threat. The Kobold, I think I could have and killed him. I dispatch, oh yeah, that's the other thing. If you catch something unaware, you can just cut its throat, hack its head off, kill it like that, and it's dead. Catching it unaware. That, Angband does not do that. And I've played recent versions of Bang Band. Nope. Mm -mm. That is extremely cool. Like, monsters have states, right? Okay, okay, there we go. It's finally starting to... Let's, let's turn the number lock on there. Okay, yeah. So I am moving with the number pad here. It's just it's a little sluggish. A J. J's a jackal. See, it's sleeping here. Yeah? Let's see if I can creep through. Creep up to it. If I'm, it's hunting. All right, so I'm not going to be able to crit him. I'll step one more. He'll step up, and I'll hit him. You get the jackal. He misses me. Jackals are more of a threat. It prowls the caverns for intruders and wrens with powerful jaws. 44% chance. They hit for 10%. So it's a bit tougher. And move quickly. That means they can double move. I don't think I can do that on, on, on say, overgrowth or anything. But see how his color changed too when he took damage? You defeated the jackal. Another thing you may have noticed, I don't have an XP bar. That's right. That is one of the more contentious things about Brogue, I think. That Oh, see the blood on the ground? It's really cool. You should really get in the habit of Brogue playing with a mouse. I plugged in a mouse. I, you, I know I'm playing on mobile with a tablet, but you can get by without a keyboard in in Brogue. That that would be unfathomable, insane to try to play Angband without a keyboard. I've done it. It's just it, you have a digital keyboard you bring up and it takes up like half the screen. It is, it is. I'm just I'm just surprised it got to work. It just it needs a bit more work for it. Sure. Uh, okay. More busy. More busy. See, you see all the things going on here. Gives me a readout of the creatures that are here. Cobalt on guard, rat sleeping, if I can get to it. The monkey's a captive. I haven't seen that before. M monkeys will rob you. Mm. They're mischievous trickers, tricksters that live to steal shiny trinkets. Yeah. Hmm. So monkey must be bound or in a cage or something. That's a rat sleeping. That's me. Stealth range 7. That's an item, right? What is that? Incendiary darts. I haven't seen these yet. Hmm. It'll reveal its secrets. That... That's the thing. It's like, you don't level up with your items, do you learn more things about them? It could have, like, a rune on it. It could be magical. That, I think, is a regular dart. What is that? And that is... What is that? Stop telling me what that is. Well, Kobold, I think, is boss here. These things are really cool. The environment's a thing in this, too, right? It's, it's not like Angband. just you, you delve through the limitless corridors of... Uh, the Fortress of Angband, and it's so huge and vast, you never come to the same place twice. No, it's... It, it, the environment the environment's different, right? That like this room here is covered with grass. Grass can burn. You'll see later. <laughs> Probably. That's a bloodwort stalk. That that's really cool. I'm actually gonna step into this room because I don't think Yeah. And I'll cut down the cobalt. I hit him, he clubs me. That's not cool. Well no, he's dead. And I have those that blood wart start, which is really cool. If I can well, if I I'll show it. I'll kill this cobalt too. He clubs me. And he is dead. And Monkey, I will creep up to the rats hunting. Nah, he missed me. Oh, he's dead now. He's gotta be dead. A rat's a rat. You defeat the rat. Alright, Monkey. Free Monkey? Yes. You free the grateful monkey and gain a faithful ally. <laughs> See, that's so cool. Can you imagine anything like that happening in Angband? Mm -hmm. Angband is just... Unless you, you really look, there are certain rooms that are different. Like, the shapes of them and such. But so, you just... You dive down, sometimes you find tough creatures to fight, sometimes you run, sometimes you pick up gold, or, or chisel it out of walls, which is pretty cool. That's like the one novel thing Angband does, uh, taking it from Moria's 
550 levels to any bands 100, and then you can chisel gems and stuff out of walls. That That's the extent of Moria. It's cool. It's, I, have fun, I have fun playing it. It's just, I, I need more nowadays. Look at this. The Bloodwort Seed Pod bursts through this cloud of healing spores. So I should wait here, actually. I can wait with the space bar. Or five. Five, I think. Let's see. I feel much better. So what this is doing is healing me. You can do this in combat. Oh, monkey. Monkey heal, too. Yes, monkey. Yes. I need, I need to rename the monkey. A monkey can just be monkey. That's cool. Monkeys are thieves. Like, legitimately, that's, that's their thing. They can steal. Oh, the spindly plant grows seed pods. Famous for the healing properties. Yeah. The, you smash those seeds and you get... Am I on anything? A green potion. Okay, G for get, right? Okay, just get it. Yeah, I could get it. Uh, okay. I want to take it. Well, I think, I mean, if I do five, then it will give me the potion. Oh, okay, yeah, I think you just auto-pick up. Mm, didn't pick it up. Mm -hmm. I remember it being auto-pick up. Maybe I just click on my space. Did you pick it up, man? Did you? You not picked up. <laughs> I don't know, usually I just pick it up. Where is that little thing? Alright, so we'll escape out of this. We well, auto-pick up the darts. Yeah, it auto-picked up the darts. Interesting. It did not auto-pick up the... Oh, I wasn't over the potion. I was over... I don't even know what that is, that backslash. I thought it was something. Where is that potion? Oh, it's over there. Okay, what are these then? What is that? Okay, you see that's the thing. It'll, it'll show you what. See how it, the the visibility changed. It's really cool. I have to go get that potion. That is unknown. There are un unknown items are in this, which is really cool. It's very important to not have things auto identified. Like Tales of Majael, just I think. Look what they did. They don't have identified items in there. Everything is identified by default. You guys like super experienced. I guess you can just read stuff. He, I don't know. He has an innate identified item. It's like, I don't know. It removes knowledge. It removes progression systems from the game. This never seemed a good idea on my part. It's a blue potion. Blue potions, it could be something. It could be good. It could be bad. It could be a potion. You can't... A blue potion in this game, if I die, and then come back... <clears throat> sorry, again. It won't be the same blue potion. It could be anything. Right? Because it's a new world. Monkey. Monkey friend is really cool. This is really going to help me out. I wonder if I can feed monkey. I don't know. Well, I was playing this on my PC, so I'm a working PC. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I'd, I'd put like a soundtrack on or something, but you can't really do that in mobile for whatever reason. You used to be able to, but now, I don't know, something changed. If I run something on, the, on another window or something, we'll just minimize it and not run it. But yeah, you don't really put on something, I don't know, atmospheric, moody. Because you're going into a, a dark kind of sort of dungeon environment and creeping around with Monkey Pal. Monkey steal items. Your monkey can steal items. Excellent. Yes, he can. I should be able to name monkey. Oh, well, I can. Doesn't seem so. It's just to identify him from other monkeys. Without... Well, let me go score that push. What's that? Ugh. It, uh, you see the issue I'm having? Is it on the bottom? I'm going to have to resize this a little bit. I thought there was a way I could. I'm doing it like manually. Hmm. Okay, so that's, that is an iron manacle. Oh, those were the chains. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just got to scroll up. All right. So let's, let's get that green potion there. And that is a, a patch of sunlight. Yeah. Dense foliage. Forge. I can only pronounce that word. I don't know why. See how it stops? Because uh, uh, Cobalt saw me. He's wandering now. Maybe he didn't see me. If he saw me, he'd be hunting. He hasn't seen me yet. And he's bugging us. He's sleeping. There's not... Now he's hunting. Okay, I'm going to wait. Five. He'll step to me and I'll cut him down. Oh, yeah. No, he didn't. Well, whatever. He's on the cobalt. Cut him down. He did. Cool. So, see, the game is... It's apparently simple. But it, there's a lot of depth to it. I do think it would be nice if there was a variant that gave you an XP system. Right, that's the stare down. The arrow key to the right on the number line indicates an increase in number, right? So we're going down. I'll be down to stair two. That is those darts. Dagger. I already have a dagger. I'll take daggers. You can throw daggers. I believe you can throw daggers. I'm always throwing crap. Name <laughs> 
and Netta especially, Jesus, and, and Adam. <laughs> Don't really do it in Tome. Tome's very, it's very accessible of the roguelikes, very accessible, because it, it has a very cooldown based combat system. Like, and it assumes that almost like every fight you're you're at the full. So they're balanced off. It's not bump damage, bump damage, you're surviving the dungeon. No, it's you, you kill something, you rest. You can rest infinitely because there's no effective timer on the, on the player. You're not, there's no corruption timer going like an Adam or a Rogue Empire. So nothing is accruing. There's no hunger clock, so nothing's being pushed. There's, there's no pressure on the player, right? The only pressure is what's immediately in front of you. It's a very wildification of the... Of the traditional world like environment, I'm not particularly a fan of. It's an interesting game, and I like it. And I like its, its variance. It's, it's the amount of variance built into Tome, right? I'm talking the most recent Tome, not Tome 2 or the older ones, which have a. I relate to Moria, actually. Originally, they started. I was a Perm Angband. They started out as a variant of Angband Tome did, which, which now stands for Tales of Magiel. We used to still stand for Tales of Middle Earth, right? So there's a lot of lore to it. <laughs> you know, not just in game of Tales of Magiel or. Tales of Middle Earth, but the, the the lore of the development of the game itself, which is interesting. But I more prefer prefer means of progression in my roguelikes. That's an oddly shaped chasm. Look at that. Oh, I may go in that door later. Is it worth the bit of nutrition? I would say, yeah, it's probably worth it. We're, we're in floor one. Floor one. I mean, I'll I'll play through it. But normally, if I were to play again, if I die, I'll probably die. This game's hard. <laughs> floor one is not hard though. Floor one is very easy. As a rat, I stopped. Our uh, red? Why is, he, why is he red? Covered in blood? The rat is a scavenger of the shallows, potentially in search of decaying animal matter. Don't hate the ratty on that. It ain't ratty's fault. I can crush the rat pretty easily, though. Mm, what was I saying? See, I do like the game. Uh, red. See, there's an excellent use of color in this. You compare this to Moria, which is completely mm, grayscale. Completely grayscale, which is interesting. But, and then Angband, which has color, but doesn't use it as well as this. See, it colors tiles, different colors, like... Hmm, sorry. It helps give the the ASCII more character. <coughs> oh my. So let's, let's, let's go through this. Oh, wasn't I just in that door? Oh, doors auto-close in this. That's the thing. That does not... Most roguelikes actually do not do that. Okay, okay. I see you, Kobold. If you'll notice, most of these creatures are not dropping loot. They're not dropping rations, they're not dropping food. Unless they pick up something that was already spawned in the environment, you can't really grind in Brogue. Right? Brogue is very... It's very pick-up-and-play. For a... Here. For a traditional roguelike, which is quite the thing. Traditional for a free. <laughs> what is that? It's a note. A scroll. Now, again, scrolls like potions are unidentified. I have not actually found that much on floor one. This is sparse floor one. Two po- two po- what? Uh, three potions, and a scroll. That's it. That's it. So, like, the only way you gain power in this is from find finding better items or you find potions of strength or life, which boosts your stats. That's it. I'm not a fan of that particularly, Sammy. I like Brogue and I'll play it, but I actually prefer Ingband. <laughs> Even though I was just talking about how much I like this game and the, the interesting things it does, I like progression systems. I like character levels. I like having choices on my character levels. Right? I descend. Indeed, I do. Level 2. Stealth range 14. Hmm. Now, that's going to be a thing if I get heavier armor. Hopefully, I get better armor. Because my stealth range is going down. I'm going to make more noise. And you need certain stats to see how the vision's decreased for the four range. What's in the corner? It could be a potion hidden. You don't know. be bad, too. Monkey's just chilling. Following me. Alright, I enter this room. Am I missing anything up here? No. I just want to keep it down here. So you can search, too. I don't often do it, but you can. Oh, well, if I need to, a turquoise potion. It's, it's very likely to be a, a hidden door on the first floor. It's possible. Let's see what's here. Is that a chasm? Another chasm. Oof, I wonder what happened if I, I took the chasm down, floor one, I hit a chasm, floor two, would I just accelerate and double the fall damage? I don't think they'd do that to me. Not on floor one. Brogue is pretty approachable. It starts off very easy first floor. Like, I was thinking, the first floor should be skippable. Because, you know... It's not, no one's going to die on the first floor. You, it's not going to happen. There's nothing really interesting going on there once you learn the game. It's just it's, it's an opportunity to slowly break into the game, start against an effective in-game tutorial, and giving you some things to pick up. Just start with a collection assortment of gear. Like, in Brogue, you always start the same stuff. There's no classes. 
Yeah, there's no X XP. It, it's very... Hmm. I don't want to say simplified, because it's not simplified, but... I don't even want to say condensed, but it is condensed throughout to the Aang Band. That's, that's, Aang Band's freaking ridiculous. It's huge, though. So again, it's not really a fair statement to make. It is... Uh, what would I say? Accessible? Yeah. Yeah, definitely I'll stick with that word. Rogue is very accessible. For a traditional roguelike. And we haven't seen much in the way of the clouds, the cloud propagation system, which is really interesting. We will a bit once I start testing potions and god knows what. Potions are powerful in this, really. Powerful. You can kill yourself pretty easy if you're not careful. There's a giant pit in the central focus in this area. Shadows. The other thing is this game, Moria kind of does it. There's a, there's a light cooldown. Light, right? Otherwise you can't see. You can't really check on your map. This game doesn't make you do that either. It, so it doesn't have an XP system. It doesn't have a lights. It doesn't have a a player time light system. Think old school D and D. Like you burn a torch. A torch burns for maybe an hour, right? And so you'd have like you break that down to like every ten minute phrases. You do a monster search or search a room. Search a, you know a ten by ten room might take a certain amount of time. Maybe ten minutes, right? It gives a a, a, a flow to the game, right? And it also gives you a timer, right? A resource that is consumed. Again, Rogue doesn't do that. Rogue. Did we cut the jackal down one hit? I dispatched the jackal, catching it unaware. Cool. Mm. This is actually the Brogue Community Edition. There's a few patch updates to it. It's pretty much Brogue. I played through the first Brogue, and I played through this. It seemed about the same to me. Little changes with wands and some bug fixes. So I figured I'd play this. And it's always a good thing when... You have members of the community just opting to update a game for free again because they like it that much. Goblin. Let's read about the goblin. They are a bit tougher than kobolds. A filthy little primate. This tribalistic goblin often travels in packs and carries a makeshift stone spear, which unfortunately I can never take because I, they don't drop items. Again, that's something I'm not thrilled about. Rogue does interesting things. I just, I'm not having on board with all of them. <laughs> so I'd like a Rogue variant that gave you an XP system that get, you know had creatures drop things. Like... I almost think of Caves of Cud as that, right? Because it has it has this kind of novel gas propagation system with confusion gas or acidic fumes or things like that. It has an XP system. It has an interesting XP system. It's not just, you leveled up, you gain this ability. Like, Adam does it that way. Ancient Domains Mystery does it that way. Uh, Angband definitely does it that way. Sometimes, usually they don't give you anything, though. It's just, you can pick a spell. But you can pick a spell, but the, the spell you pick is like one spell you can pick or you get nothing. It's like... That's not a choice. It's a false choice, right? But again, Aangband's very old. 1990, and there are updates to it, but the, they've, I think they're, they're worried about changing too much of the core gameplay. It won't be Aangband anymore. But there are Aangband variants for that purpose, I suppose. There's actually a weird Aangband variant. I mean, tend to try it at one point. It gives it, I guess, permanency to the levels. Like, they're not... The thing about Aangband and Moria is that every time you hit a downstair or an upstair or whatever, the level... You were just in despawns, and you create a new level. And if you go back down, you don't go back down to the same level. That level is gone. Effectively, you can never get to it again. So that's that's the thing. Moria does that. Angband does that. Most games do not do that. Right? There's permanency of levels. Like in NetHack, for instance, or Pathos, which is a very, very cool uh, mobile-designed... Um, it's more than a variant. It's a take on... NetHack, which is awesome and tough, and I actually much prefer NetHack to Aangband or Bro because of that. Because of how the permanency it is, and how you can find things, and how, how, how... Say, in Aangband, you can always head up. Head back to town, get more food, head back down. It's just, Aangband is a grinder's paradise. If you like, if you love Aangband, that's your perfect roguelike. You're, one, you really like ASCII, and you really like grinding. Aangband's for the grinders, I've always thought. I'm less into grinding? I don't know. I mean, I'll do it if effectively, but I always prefer to be walking on something. This isn't great. I have to waste one of these poom things. I wish you could pick them up. Take a bit of a seed. See? It's the propagation of the healing gas. I feel much better. Yeah, it's wasted, though. Too bad I can't get an empty potion bottle, stuff it in it, right? Let's see what's in here. It's a potion. A burgundy potion. Hmm. Take that. I have no idea what it is. And that is a... Yellow potion. Mm, interesting. Those are the main treasure in this. Potions. If you do find gold, gold just scored. Doesn't do anything. There are no shopkeepers in this. 
Uh, again, this it's on NetHack. NetHack's the big one of the shopkeeping. And Pathos really changed shopkeeping quite a bit. I look forward to playing that. But that's the downstairs. I already found it. That's on a scroll. Pora Panda Panda Arama. That's probably Identify, because that's the second one of those. The most common scroll is always Identify, usually. In, in the games of identification systems. It is in WazHack, it is in NetHack, it is any game. It has to be. Because the, how, how else do we identify things? Right? Right. That was an easy floor, too. Oh, no, 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 I'm not done yet. See? This is something else you can do. Angband, there, there's no option for this. What Angband has, which I actually really like, has a run command. You, I think, was it period? And you select a direction. He runs to that direction until he comes across something interesting. Like a monster, uh, a door, a four-way cross, whatever. So you, there's no... Like in this, it, it's a more of a smarter one. It'll take you directly to it. I don't know. I prefer for Angbands. Because it forces you... I don't... Like, auto, I don't like Auto Explorer. I said it there. Some people like it. I don't. I want to play the game. I don't want someone... Wow, again, another pet monkey. This generation has been generous. And it's just guarded by a kobold, and those are the manacles caging the monkey. I like that. He's guarding. I'm going to step forward. Now I'm going to show you. I hit seven. This has a directional movement. It's not that, that wonky four movement, which I don't particularly care for. I'm going to free a monkey. Do I have two monkeys? I have two monkeys? Yes. I gain a faithful ally. Hello, monkey. I assume they're on my back. <laughs> I'm going to actually head over here. Come, monkey. I call you M2. I'm going to stick him over here, right? Why not? I mean, there is a use. Because I can. There is permanency in these. In Brogue, there's permanency dungeon levels. If I head back up dungeon one, it's going to be the place I was at. Okay. Ambush the rat. It's going to be the same as it was previously. Now, I'm actually going to wait here. Just let the monkey heal up. Well done, monkey. Now, those monkeys could be helpful to me. So we're gonna head down. Um, what is that? See that that blue coloring on me? I think that's indicating I'm in the shadows. I'm not well lit. Grass like fungus crunches underfoot. That's a nice touch. Like how is grass growing here? You need a a, a kind of low lying. So it's getting darker. Underlying foliage system that does not require light. That would be a fungus, right? Indigo potion. Okay. No, I'm on level three. I haven't touched a potion yet. That's the dungeon generation is being stingy. That's a rat. Am I really on depth three? I am. Hm. Uh, I find once it gets into combat mode, I find the number keys a bit better. He's hunting. Oh wait. Yeah, he's, he's a... what? Why don't I go over there? There, there we go. I right, displaced the monkey. See? That's the thing. Uh, Ing band. I think it's. A... No, no, it's Pathos. Pathos does it in that sometimes there's a chance you won't uh, displace your, your friendly. Your, so you could potentially get killed because your, your pet cat or dog's behind you or whatever. NetHack does that too. I, I definitely know NetHack does it. Maybe Pathos took it out. Unless I'm misremembering. Pathos is really good. I can't wait to play it. Well, I thought broke. Because broke's nice too. Let's cut down the rat. I don't want to be surrounded. That's not good. They had just rats, but still. This is level 3 and I'm fighting rats, although I'm also not finding many things. That, that is water. Water is extremely dangerous. Not that you'll drown, but there are things that dwell in the water. And they are bad. Let's see what we have here. Grass like fungus, murky waters, you know. What dwells in the murky waters, you ask? Well, let's not find out. Also, stuff will float away from you as you swim. <laughs> not great. You don't drown like you might in... Adam, ancient myths and mysteries drowned you like you're nothing. Particularly if you're very heavily burdened. But water in this is is a threat. It's a real barrier. Like a pit. Hmm. Stone wall, stone wall, stone wall. Stone wall. Hmm. Okay, so it stopped me as a jackal there. Let's head down and get the jackal. Woo! Monkey, monkey. Two, two. Two, I'm just going down, right? Two, two. So if you want to download the game, I'll, I'll include the where to get it on GitHub for the community edition, uh, this site here, and if you want to play on the browser, 
Zimbabwe Mobile, whatever. This would not work well with a touch screen because it's very precise. You have to zoom in, zoom out. Yeah, I, I'm using a digital keyboard and a mouse. The most important thing being the mouse, the, the Bluetooth mouse. Yeah, I mean, you could do it. It's just it wouldn't be pleasurable. You like playing any band on mobile. <laughs> the e, e for eel. They're nasty. The eel slips silently through the subterranean lake, waiting for unsuspecting prey to set foot in the dark waters. Yeah. They're tough, and they can electrocute you. <laughs> yeah, because they're electric eels. They move radically, never sleep, and are home in the water, and cannot venture onto dry land and submerge. They vessel to dive through the water. We don't want to play with the eel. Again, there's no XP in this, so this changes how you play, right? There's no incentive for me to kill monsters unless they have something I want, or they're guarding something I want, right? Well, that's a captive, an item, a potion, whatever. So the game does encourage a form of stealth, as well as you can just silently murder things. Well, I, mean, I suppose you shouldn't say murder. It's, they're all trying to kill me, right? Every time I play Roguelikes, I want to. I look at like the talk command. Can I talk my way through this? I mean, you know, I'm creeping through this kobold area, his home, right? I'm just gonna murder him in the dark. Maybe I might talk to him, right? We shouldn't assume, right? You search a pack when not a matching key has a locked door. Huh? Are you talking about it? There's an iron door. Unlocked iron door. Notable that it's iron, right? So I can't burn my way through it. I don't know if there are locked wooden doors. I don't think they bother locking it. That is not my monkey. Oh, I wait. Will monkey deal with it? Monkey, 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 monkey. Yes, monkey battle. Your monkey bites the monkey. The monkey misses your monkey. <laughs> like a cheer command. Go monkey, go. Monkey <laughs> tweaks. I was saying something else. Your monkey tweaks the monkey. The monkey tweaks the monkey. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let my monkey deal with it. Go, oh, monkey, no! Monkey stole my blue potion. Oh, the monkey's dead. See, and then sometimes, like, there, there are games that the monkeys will, the creatures will steal from you, and then you can't get it back when you kill them. It's so annoying. Lost Labyrinth does that for some reason. I think it's, it's always found so annoying. The argument I, I spot the developer saying is like, what's, what, what gameplay element is there if he can just steal it and you get it back, right? Well, there's a possibility in this game they could flee. The, and the other monkeys could spawn. Like, monsters spawn in this, too. As a silver worm, I'm going to pick that up. We'll go get that. Auto pickup, yeah. So you don't have to get that. You don't have to remember the G command. Which You don't have to remember the open door or close door command. Because door openly close. You got to. It just does that. So, like, you can play Angband. You got to play pretty much unless you're playing it for a while. The list of the commands off to your left. Same thing with NetHack. No, Pathos, you don't have to do that. Because it's very mouse driven. It's a goblin. I think he has a spear. And that spear does... Man, I think someone else is a captive, a captive goblin. I'm building a little army here. Isn't it nice? So if I wait, he stepped. I'm kind of. Did I hit him? You remember a stone wall here? Yeah, that's that super. I gotta step in. Fine. The goblin misses you. Attack goblin. I hit him. I hit him. He's just missing. I'm getting lucky. I defeat the goblin. The goblin stabs your monkey. Alright, so actually, I want to kill the goblin first, because the, the goblin skewers me. Yeah, okay, I'll step to here. Monkey will assist. I'm feeling pretty confident. Because I don't want to risk the lose the goblin. The, the cage goblin, who should be my buddy as well. And... Free captive goblin? Yes! You free the grateful goblin and gain a faithful ally. <laughs> well, that is a kobold off in the corner. They're sleeping. He must not like these other guys. He's just chilling. Monkey's going to creep up and murder him. Nah, Cobalt is still sleeping. Get him, monkeys. Get him, monkeys. The Cobalt bashes your monkey. They heard the monkeys. Cobalt. I mean, hey, they, you know, taking hits. Oh, I he, I hit the Cobalt completely. Okay, he's dead. Let's see if I caught him on the way. What is that? That's a confusion trap. Don't work on that. Tech tells you. Hmm. So the game is fun, even though it has systems I, I tend to like. It, it lacks systems I tend to like, like an XP system, like a feat system, like... Caves of Cud, oh my god, I can't wait my PC. New PC arrives, I can play some more of that. Oh, it's so good. It reminds me a lot of this. That's a scroll. We don't, we're going to smash one of these. Goblin Buddy. See, Pink, I think Pink is my friends, I guess. They're my friend, my buddies. Wait, slow heal. Oh, cool, they killed him. Excellent. So we're going to go get that scroll. That, that healing cloud will dissipate over time. That is a Skull Grand Flea Group. 
could be anything really. All right, we're all in good health. Monkey, goblin, monkey. Do I have three goblins? Oh, it's three monkeys. Huh? Two, I guess. Let's use the mouse here. See, you could do touch screen, but it's yeah, it's not the best. Because the tile, everything's so small, right? Because it's zoomed out. That's another thing a lot of people like to ask you about, because you can just look at a thing and see lots of detail. If you have tiles, it's, it's, it can be less clear further out. It's a very safe room, but I have two indigo potions. Those are probably life or strength. Those are the com most common potions, usually. But I could potion of oh, food. Food is the main mm, timer in this, because you can starve to death, which is not great. Yeah, I'm saying it's usually much tougher by floor three, depth three. I'm not complaining. I got three buddies. I got, but you know, I got buddies. I did not find items. Last time I think I played, I, there was, I found the item vault, and you can only pick one item, or cages will crash down. But then the items you can pick, you don't have the stats to use, really. A door key. Okay, so I can snatch the key, then go back and open that iron door. Interesting. That could be the item vault. Probably is. Hmm. But I do recommend you, if you like. Traditional roguelikes at all, you give Rogue a chance. It's, it's very interesting to study, and the game can still be fun even if you take out a lot of systems. The less is more concept. Although I'm more of a kitchen sink kind of guy myself. Take the key, thank you. The notches is ancient iron key, well worn. Its leather lanyard is battered with age. What door might it open? Can, can you take it, please? Can, can you just take the key, man? I don't know why I want to take the key. What's the deal? Okay, so just. Is there a cage around the key? Oh, okay. The cage won't bow. It's just a way to raise it nearby. Okay. That's what it is. And I can't take it. Hmm. I forgot that was a thing. The cage nearby. Yeah, it's a pressure plate. It's going to stand on it. Is that... No, oh, there's an issue. A hole. Hmm. So, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to get in that door. I can start experimenting with potions. Hope for a potion of levitation. And then I can float across, hit that pressure plate. Oh, or... Or... We could channel my knowledge of previous games, right? And see if I can throw a dart at it. And trick it remotely. I will click a dart. The simple metal spikes are weighted to fly true and strike their prey with a flick of the wrist. Now, bonus of 0.5. It's my excessive strength. Because they require a certain amount. It only require 10 if I throw it. T. Throw a dart where it should work. So the pressure plate clicks underneath the dart. Yeah, so that was a very light pressure plate. Uh, so we'll click to ink. And when we click the more button, okay. so we'll head back up and the gate is raised. It was a little unclear to, that there was a gate around that, but I just remembered. I have the door key now. Cool. Otherwise, another way to do that would have been used a potion of levitation, but that would have been a waste. So that dart is lost. No, it's cool. It didn't mount though, so. It'll, over here. Please. There we go. I was my allies. Cool. That is an enemy monkey. Enemies will spawn. There's just no incentive to kill them if you don't have to. If they're physically in your way, like, oh, they steal silver wands from you. They say he's trying to get away the little. Yeah, they'll do that. So this is how you show that, yeah, actually, it is kind of dangerous if they just kill you, take your stuff, and then run because they're faster than you. And they're going to disappear in the foliage, and they're going to force me to waste a dart to kill them. Or, let's see, I, I for inventory, I'm going to throw a, I'll throw a dagger at you, why not? Right. The dagger hits the monkey, and it's gone, emulched. Ugh, yuck, yuck, T, throw what? You see the T command for throw? That's why a controller, or a keyboard is so handy. Throw one of my darts, Charlie. To the east. Dark hits the monkey. He's still alive. See, he's, he's going to run away. He's going to hide in the corner. And I'll never get my damn wand back. Whatever that wand is. I'm not going to throw an incendiary dart at him. Ooh, those are treasures. I'm going to save those. I will keep throwing my darts at him. I hate to waste them, but... Monkeys are a real threat because they'll take your stuff. Got him. Cool. And I gain nothing, I gain nothing from that. From, from killing that monkey. He just got my wand back. Right? Is that? Uh, stupid ass. Yeah. 
Okay, fine. We're gonna cut through the rats. We'll do that. Kill, 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 goblin. Got to beat the rat. Yay. Alright, so we're gonna get that door open. And I'm gonna get a new item, hopefully. And then, we'll head down. The, the rough stone wall is firm and unyielding. Want to click? Oh, yeah, this is what I thought it was. Okay, this is the... It's items here. An amethyst ring. This metal band is adorned with an amethyst gem that glitters in the darkness. Who knows what effects it has when worn? It reveals secrets if worn for 1,500 turns. Could be a ring of light, I don't know. No glimmers. A pearl wood stave. Hmm, warm to the touch. It's a magic stave. I don't want that. That is... What was it? Betas? You see a marble statue. You see a marble statue. See, this is where I can pick my items. There's a whip, a wand of invisibility, a staff of conjuration, a warp hike. I need 18 strength, though, for that. A staff of firebolt. Ooh. So I pick. Again, I'd like, I'd like to just be able to pick what I start with. Leather armor. That's craptastic. What do you spawn leather armor? I've already got that. A wand of invisibility. Hmm. Hmm. That's a nice touch there. Only with telepathy or in the silhouette of a thick gas. Will an observer discern the creature's hazy outline like that? Wands of this type can be found at 3-5 charges. Enchanting this... Oh, I don't want a stave. Staves tend to recharge it for them. A staff of conjurations. Phantom blade staffs. Yeah, sand blade staffs are awesome. A staff of fire bolts. Maximum 4 charges. or charge in 1,000... 25 deals damage to any creature it hits, unless creatures need to fire out with a stave. You now have a staff of firebolt. Oh, the cage lowers to cover the altars. See, those, those are on altars, and there's a cage around them now, so it's gray. Yeah, yeah, choose. <laughs> Sorry. I know, I've been going for 42 minutes. Yeah, I spent a little time, you know, saying how much, you know, there are things I wish broke to different, but I lost track of time playing it, so there you go, it's a good game. I think we'll head down to here. A ring of stealth. Where's that? And now I know what that is. Can I take it? Curse rings of. St mm. Nah, there's a cage around it. Oh, the missing item must be replaced where you can access the remaining items. And I don't think you can put like a dart on the <laughs> on on the altar and cheat it. Hmm. I'd give something a little more than that. Anyway, I've been going a while. Uh, this is Brogue, uh, Community Edition patch. Pretty much just Brogue, a few more community patches that fix a few bugs, which I didn't encounter. But anyway, I'm going to play some more Brogue. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye.